Hey guys, this is Halo Master with Apex on this episode. Well, we have a new series called Apex Craft. This episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make two different potions. Oh, actually, in this video, we're going to show you guys how to make splash potions. So, first thing first, we want to do is you're going to want to go like make a burning scene, of course. Then make a regular potion, which all you need is uh, three. Or if you want to make three, you need to, like, you have, to have at least one water bottle. If you want to make more than one, you have to play with three water bottles, which all you have to do is get, you get glass. And, yeah. So what we want you to do is get the, the water bottles and then get another wart, which you have to go to the nether to do so. You have to go to the nether to get a promise anyway, so you have to at least have diamonds with you at this time. Um, if you want to play in survival, but I'm playing creative right now. Then what you want to do, after you make done making your potion, you have to, after you're making the awkward potion with the nether wards, you have to make your own type of potion of choice, which is to be fire resistant potion, which requires blaze powder. It can be a night vision potion to we're using today, which requires cold golden carrots um and um let me golden carrots if you guys when you want to know how to make them you have to have uh golden nuggets and a carrot to make a golden nugget um the easiest way to get golden nuggets is to have one gold bar and you'll be able to um make a golden one gold can make nine of them and um if you want and all you gotta do is make a farm for carrots or just find carrots from the villager farm and you'll be able to do that and then you get mixed it up and get a golden carrot pretty easy to do time consuming but it's pretty cool and then it, what your reward is night vision potions so you got three of those then what we want to do is go to the uh, gate and get some gunpowder you get them a, a couple ways by uh, killing creepers or killing gas or something like that and once you do uh, make those um that you will be awarded with the splash potion this could be helpful if you only need one potion but you have like three other people and they, they can get into a group with each other and you throw it on the ground. So yeah, that's how you make splash potions. You can do it with any potion, and it's always gonna be splash. So that's how you make splash potions in survival. And you also you get an achievement by making a potion in general, really. Like a, a awkward potion, but you make like I'm pretty sure an awkward potion. But you can also be rewarded by using regular potions too. So that's pretty nice. So um, I'll be doing top five, and also one mission you guys um, light vision and how it works. It can help you with um finding ocean temples while in the water because it's really freaking bright down there um it's really bright on when you use night vision uh, underwater which i tried to go into a couple of water areas i thought it would work on lava it didn't really work that help that doesn't really help much it just makes it sort of hard, harder to see and if you guys don't know how to get rid of the effect of a potion all i gotta do is drink some milk and um you'll be in the potion effect it's a little wear off so as you guys can see, it, can't, it doesn't really do anything in the night. Oh, dark. Oh, the, oh, the day. Shit. I started going to a couple areas. I found an area um, over here. I forgot where it was. But I found an area. Like right here. For a potion. It makes it pretty easy to see stuff. So, if you're, if you're looking for ocean temples, making night vision potions can help a lot too. In the next video, I'll be showing you guys how to make leap, um, water breathing potions. Now, do leaping potions. Leaping potions are probably one of the most easiest ones to use. And in, in the next video, I'll be showing you guys how to make different tiers of different types of potions, like Jump Boost 2 with Weeping. But I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Apex Craft. See you guys later.